Hey gang, I thought I would come at you today and share a few words of wisdom with you and kind of encourage you. Now you already saw the title of this video, So I Failed Statics, Should I Change My Major? So I'm here to answer that question for you. But the first thing I want you to do is I want to ask you a question. Why are you in engineering? Why are you doing this? You have to be able to answer that question. And if you say, I'm doing it because of the money, I want to be rich then go change major, do something else, okay? If this is what you want to do, right? Your whole life, you wanted to get into space. You wanted to, to build engines. You wanted to design cars. You wanted to build robots. You wanted to do whatever it is. And that's what you want to do. Then how serious are you? How, how bad do you want it? Because let me tell you, to finish this degree, you got to want it. And if you don't want it, if you're just like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just doing this because that's what my dad told me to do or my mom told me to do or whatever, then you're in the wrong place. You got to want it, okay? If you want to do this, and this is the one thing that you've always wanted to do, are you going to let somebody else tell you you can't do it? Right? No. You want to get me upset. I dare you. I dare you to tell me I can't do something. I'll, I'll show you I can do it, right? If I put my mind to it, I can do anything. Now, I'm not talking about stupid stuff like jumping out of an airplane with no parachute. Okay, I'm not going to do that. But, but anything that's, you know, reasonable, if you, you don't think I can do it, I'll, I'll show you I can do it. I'll prove you wrong. It's bad stuff. And I need you to have that attitude. I, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. When I took statics for the first time when I was in college, I didn't pass that class either. So, do you think that that means that you can't do it ever again, though? Does that mean that you don't have the mental capacity to do it? I want to tell you something. I am pretty friggin' good at it now, man. And because I failed it one time doesn't mean that I couldn't do it. So why did you fail it? Well, I wasn't putting any time in it. I wasn't doing the problems. Um, I was, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of things. You know, college is a lot of distractions, right? There's parties. There's Nintendo. There's nobody watching you now, right? You're doing your own thing. Uh, you live with your roommate that's a different kind of major, and then they're just going off and having all kinds of fun, and you're working your tail off all the time, and that doesn't seem right. I want a little bit of that and, and instead of just studying all the time. Well, I'm telling you, you got to make the sacrifice to make this work. If you don't, if you're not ready to make this sacrifice, if you're not mature enough to say, I'm going to not go do that so that I can do this and be successful at it, then you need to go do something else. But I'm telling you, if I can do it, I promise you, if I can do it, you can do it too. So I will never discourage a student if they did bad in a class or whatever, because I know that you're smart enough to do this, okay? Um, and so another thing is, is that why is this so important? Here's why it's so important. This degree is going to enable you to go get a really nice job and be able to take care of your future family for the rest of your life. Your kids are going to have a better life than you had. You're going to be able to take care of your wife and, your, and your, the rest of your family or your husband. Um, and that's really what you want, isn't it? That's how important it is. Well, I don't know. What if I told you in the next three to four years to probably 75% of you, you're going to be getting married. You're in some kind of relationship. You meet somebody in college. You get married. You get out of school in three or four years, thinking about having a family. And then, you know, in three years from now, this could be the thing that you're supporting a family. It's, it's not forever away. You think right now you're just thinking about the party this weekend. Most students can't see that far ahead of. They just see the party this weekend. They can't look three years out and say, hey, I'm fixing up to support a wife and children and and be an adult. What you're doing now is dang important. And so I want to encourage you. You've got, if you, if you, if it didn't work the first time, then you did something wrong. And the thing you did wrong is you're using the C word. You know what the C word is, that Chegg thing, right? You're looking at problems online. You're looking problems up. You're looking for the quick solution. You're not spending enough time on it. You have a bad study group. You're not studying with the right people. Uh, that, that are really able to bring you up. Uh, if you're studying with other people, if you teach somebody else how to do these problems, then for sure you know how to do the, these problems. 
you, you got to go see your professors. Your professors have to know who you are. I guarantee you that it makes a difference when it comes time to put in grades, and I'm speaking from experience here, that you look differently upon those students that you know their name, you know they, that they come by your office a couple, three times a week, you know they're putting in the work, you know they're working hard, you know they're, they're, they're doing the work. It makes a difference when it comes to the end of the semester and you're putting grades in. I promise you that. So get to know your professors. Go by and see them. Don't be scared of them. You shouldn't be scared of them. They're just regular old people. I'm just regular just like y'all are. So um, anyway, I want to encourage you. And I, what I also want to do is there's a lot of people that watch this channel that already have passed addicts, that are already way out. But some, many of you have already graduated from college. I want you in the comments to leave a... a, a a comment for those people that are struggling in this class to encourage them to say, you can do it, right? I know that whenever I graduated from, from college, I was scared to death because I thought, they're gonna, I'm going to go to work, and the first thing they're going to do is they're going to ask me to work a thermo problem, and I, I don't know if I can do that. Or I, I already passed thermo, but I don't know if I can work a thermo problem now. That's not what happens, okay? When you finish college, you have all of this background knowledge, but then... All you have acquired really is the ability to learn. They know that you have the ability to learn anything that they throw at you. And then whenever you go to a job, they're gonna teach you exactly what it is at that job you're gonna use. You're not gonna use all of that. I've never used thermo in my career. And I, so I, it's 30 years rusty for me. But I used other classes a lot and those became very familiar to me. And so that's what's gonna happen. So I, I want to encourage you, what you're doing is so important. Do not give up. Don't let somebody else tell you, you can't do this. You're not going to be an engineer. You can't make it. You're not smart enough. Or don't tell yourself that. Because if you tell yourself that, then you start to believe that. And I think a lot of children these days in grade school coming up to college have been told, no, that's, a, that, that's not a degree for you. You have to do this. That's not, you're not going to be good at that. You need to do this. Don't let somebody else tell you what you can do. Don't do this just because somebody told you to go do it. It needs to be something that I can't believe that they pay me to go work here every day. I want you to find that job. But I want to impress upon you how important this is. You're doing this not for you. You're doing this for your future family. So pick yourself up, dust yourself off. Let's get back in there and let's, let's get an A-plus in this. Knock it out, okay? Be encouraging to others, and I'll see you here next time. Shh.